back to the M News. This is my little, little new uh, kind of spot I have going on here. It's not like permanent, but hey, it's all right. Uh, but this is my quick review on uh, the movie uh, I just saw on Blu-ray actually a few minutes ago, uh, Dracula Untold. Um, this movie does star Luke Evans as uh, Vladimir, uh, uh, Vlad, uh, the Count Dracula himself. Uh, stars Luke Evans as him. And uh, the movie is rated PG-13, you know, for violent sequences and uh, disturbing images and vampire violence. Uh, but uh, And it's brought out by Universal Studios. Um, now, the first thing uh, I should say before I start talking about this movie is when I was going into it, I was expecting a terrible movie. Okay, I was expecting the shittiest movie of the year. Terrible. Top 10 worst movies of the year. And uh, to be honest with you, I did not... Uh, okay, here's the thing. I did not get that. I uh, watched this movie knowing what I was going into, and I think that's the main thing. If you go into this movie knowing what you're going to get into, I think you can enjoy it a lot more like I did. Um, I knew it wasn't going to be the best uh, movie of the year, but was it really necessarily the worst movie of the year? Um, no. I, I seen I Frankenstein, and I Frankenstein compared to Dracula Untold is just shit. Uh, really, I mean that. I really do mean that. Um, I thought... Luke Evans in the main lead was just awesome. I per personally, this is me being honest with you, I, I was not expecting this. This was a total blind buy. Uh, I thought Luke Evans was freaking awesome in the main role. Uh, compared to the Twilight movies, and this is true, I've heard a few, not going to point any fingers, no names, but uh, I've heard some people saying, the Twilight series is better than this. And I watched this just about 20 minutes ago. I mean, this is fresh in my mind. How? How is the Twilight movies better than Dracula Untold? This is the main thing. Um, what what they were what uh, the studios and companies and movie makers fail to do nowadays is capture what a vampire is. And a vampire is nothing more than a blood sucking killer. They don't care. They 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 they're just monsters. And what Dracula Untold did was capture that kind of you know, hey, I'm a vampire. I could bite you and kill you. And it captured that. And that's what I love about Dracula Untold. I'm not saying I love the movie. I'm saying I very much enjoyed myself while watching it. And if you get into this movie and you're watching it and you're just expecting a very Oscar-worthy vampire movie like Bram Stoker's Dracula, you're not going to enjoy it as much as I did. Having said that, this is a very predictable war movie. Um, you know, it's the same plot we've seen a lot of times where, well, he doesn't want to give up a family member. So what does he do? He's going to go find a way to to stop this war. And how is he going to do that? He's going to get bit by a vampire. And, you know, it's in the trailer. They obviously show you what happens. And that's the problem. The trailer showed too much. Uh, you know, he gets becomes a vampire. And really no spoiler. If you know who Dracula is, you obviously know he's going to become a vampire. And, well, that's what he does. He becomes a vampire. And now he has a, he has a way to stop this army of bad Evil doers, and he's gonna do it. And uh, you know, the visual effects were out outstanding in the movie. I didn't have no problem with the visual effects. I had no problem with the acting. Uh, I thought the, there's some emotional points were actually hit. And uh, for me, for me, this is how I'm feeling personally about the movie. Uh, was it the greatest movie of the year? Absolutely not. It was far from it. But it was far from the worst. It's it's one of those movies that you know I. It's for me. This is a. Uh, this is going to be, even if it's a bad movie to a lot of you guys' eyes, I, I didn't think it was a bad movie. Uh, and uh, I, I had no problem with it. And no problem with it at all. Besides the ending. If you've seen the movie, you know what I'm talking about. I think the ending was a little bit way too rushed. I didn't feel, that, the vibe kind of lost me at the at the end. I was like, ah, you know, let's throw it away. Throw that little clip away. Um, no, but I had a good time with this movie. And I think it's a very important thing. If you have a good time with the movie, you should buy the movie on Blu-ray and own it. And I... I Hey, I own it, you know, I I was, was going to sell it, but hey, I loved it. I, I didn't love it. I very much enjoyed myself. I could have got some popcorn, had some friends over, watched a cool vampire movie, and the, Dracula Untold is a very cool vampire movie, because it captured what a vampire was, okay? Lost Boys captured what a vampire was, this movie captured what a vampire was, even the freaking little vampire movie, that captured what a vampire was. Twilight didn't, Twilight shit, uh, it's not glare glossy, you know, well, let's kiss, no. They are tempted by darkness, and they showed that very well. I very much enjoyed Dracula Untold. I do think it got more hate than it uh, deserved. Uh, I'm going to give Dracula Untold a C+. Plus. As I said, this is by far not the greatest movie of the year. It's by far not the worst. 
But if you go into this uh, with a fresh little kind of, hey, let's have some fun, you know, put this movie on, let's have a little bit of good time, and let's watch it. That's what I did, and I enjoyed it. I enjoyed myself a lot. So guys, let me know down below, what are your thoughts on Dracula Untold are, and uh, as always guys, thanks for watching, very much appreciated, and get ready for my next uh, review, and that's going to be for the movie Nightcrawler, which I just saw last night. So guys, thanks.